All right, we're in CapCut Pro today. If you don't have the Pro version, you're going to be missing some of the features, but you can still follow along. That being said, let's look at our clip and make these cutout animations. We'll edit, but let's get into the meat and how to make cutout animations. First cutout animation is I'm going to use go to the second clip, and I want him to pop up while this tire is shown. So I'm going to click on the second clip, press Control C, Control V, so it copy and paste and it will paste it on top already in our free layer option. You guys didn't know this, but CapCut, if you make an overlay or another layer, you can kind of move the clips freely around instead of here where it'll snap back into the timeline. But I'm going to now make sure my uh, magnetic link, my auto snapping is turned on so I can snap it to the front of the second clip so it'll be regular. Now, I want my playhead to be snapped to the beginning of the second clip. So right here, you can see. And I'm going to select my second clip, go to the top, freeze. Now to make a freeze frame. Now with the freeze frame selected, go ahead and go to cut out. Now I do like to use the custom option, the pro version, but since this he is a human figure, you can use the auto cutout option, which is free. And it should have been completed. If it was completed, we can scroll through and we can see that he is cut out, right? If we mute the bottom layer, we can see He's cut out. Fire. So we can cut out some of this excess by press by selecting it and pressing Control B, and then pressing Backspace and deleting the rest. So our cutout is kind of this long. I'm going to grab this cutout now, and I'm going to move it to the left on top of my first clip. Now if we look at it, cool little animation, but we need some extra effects. So with this clip selected, I'm going to go up to the right here and click animation. I'm going to add the cross shake animation. If you take a look at this, it just kind of shakes into place. I don't like that a little bit. I'm going to switch it to a shake slide. We have this, which is kind of cool, but I might save that for another one. Let me check this Rocky, which is free fire. I might actually like this one. And that's pretty much it for the first one. Now let's go to the second one and do something crazier. So I'm going to go to the second clip and I'm going to go to the second clip. Press C, Control V. Third clip, my cursor in the front. I'm going to click on freeze. Delete these two. I'm going to shorten my clip back in the front. But first we need to cut him out. So I'm going to go to cut out, click on auto cut out. And he is cut out. But I'm actually going to go customize because I only want him. So I'm going to paint over it. Apply, and then now we have another cutout effect. You can see right here it ends on top of the second clip, so it's not smooth. So I'm going to move it to the left so it matches the beginning of the second clip. The end of my cutout matches the beginning of the second clip. So for the second clip, I'm going to add this vertical shake onto the clip. If you take a look at it, The cutout comes out again, but I really don't like this beginning part of the cutout where it shakes first and then goes into this uh, shake thing. So just to combat that, I'm going to select it, I'll go to basic. I'm going to go to the part where I want it to start, which is kind of right here. I'm going to go to opacity and add a keyframe to the right right here at 100%. And I'm going to go one frame to the left and then just make this drag this down to zero. So if we take a look at it, it only shows the part, the phase in part, which is the part I want. Wow. And then now I'm going to want to do a zoom effect. A zoom effect into this uh, clone of his. So I'm going to do another clone or a cutout effect. So I'm going to copy, paste, go to the top, freeze it, cut out the excess by pressing control V, backspace, delete it, delete the beginning clip that for the freeze, drag it onto my other clip, which is my third clip, because this is the fourth clip. You can see we have a freeze frame. Now I'm gonna do the auto cutout by having this freeze frame selected. Cut out, auto cut out, there we go. And now I'm gonna go back and just add an animation, probably a zoom. And since we're going into a clip, I'm gonna add a zoom in. So this is like a fall in, that's fine too. Ow. And then right here we have a fast cut but however I didn't want this as a cutout effect I wanted it as this cutout leaving so 
I'm going to copy and paste this clip again. Press Ctrl Z, Ctrl V. Move it back to the its original position on top of my clip. And this last frame, which is like one before this one, I'm just gonna go up here and click freeze, delete the first half. And then now we have a final freeze frame like this. Select it, cut out, auto cut out, it cut out the human and boom, we have a cutout effect. I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the end, press control B, delete it. And then we'll have a cutout like this. It goes into the next clip. However, it needs some animation, obviously. Click it, animation. Now, instead of having it making it in animation, we're gonna do an out animation. I guess you can also do a combo, but it's kind of fast. But in this out animation, you'll just click this one, see what it does. I don't like that, but I do like this sliding down one, something like this, or even, um, I think the cut one. Animation and it was the cut. Where is the cut? Oh, something like this. Boom. So yeah, now we have our cutouts. Now these are what the cutouts look like. I did add some extra animations to the bottom clip just to make the edit more cohesive. But these are the After Effects music video style cutouts in CapCut. Um, I think once the keyframe graph gets into the PC version, uh, CapCut's going to take over Premiere. And that's kind of it for this tut. Let me know later.